It's a celebration of Rhode Island's rich history. There's a renewed push to educate the public about Providence's role in the United States' fight for freedom from British rule. It would be a walking tour of Providence, much like Boston's Freedom Trail. Independence Trail would be located throughout the capital city. Catherine Sotnik has more this morning. Well, every day, school buses from right here in Rhode Island ship kids up to Boston to check out the Freedom Trail and American history. But now a local restaurant owner wants to change all of that, and he says Providence has plenty of history of its own. It's all around us. There's all this history. An extremely animated Bob Burke walks around downtown Providence showing us historic landmarks. Landmarks that he says most people overlook. Who knew that there was a spot right in downtown Providence where Abraham Lincoln spoke? We're at the federal courthouse right on Kennedy Plaza and here Abraham Lincoln spoke in 1860. Incredible! And Burke, who's a prominent Rhode Island restaurant owner and history enthusiast, even gives downtown tours on his own time. But now he wants to work with the state to make the tours an organized event and a tour that attracts tourists. We've got all these kids going to Boston to learn history. Why aren't they coming to Providence to learn history? And he says there are plenty of reasons to come to Providence. This is the statue of General Ambrose Burnside. He was the Civil War general from Rhode Island who became famous not for being a great general, unfortunately, but because of these amazing sideburns. We would have never had Elvis without this guy. And the tour that Burke currently gives is three miles long and covers actually four centuries of history. Again, he hopes to legitimize his independence tour soon with the state of Rhode Island. For The Roadshow, I'm Katherine Sotnik.